-hmm. And in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Mm -hmm. And in their it's like in their husbands shall perish of famine. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. hey, and they, and and that's where some of our women gonna come from too, man. Because the Lord is gonna destroy these mm -hmm. wicked people, man. Why the law keep riding mm -hmm. through them, man? Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord is going to destroy these people, man. Oh. You know, and hey, we're going to, the Israelite man in that day of the elect, man, they're going to get the pick, man. And the one third as well, you know. That's right. You know, the ones who the Lord protect and, and has a lot of salvation because it's not just going to be the 144,000, you know. Mm -hmm. It's going to be also the men, women, and children after that, man. Mm -hmm. Who the Lord a lot of salvation, man. That's right. You know. It's going to be glorious in that day. Um, and it say, And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them for them that are escaped of Israel. You know, hey, for the ones who escaped of Israel. So they go to show you the only people getting out of this destruction and death and all these things that's coming, especially in America, is the Israelites, man. Everybody mm -hmm. else, man, prepare to die, man. You better hope you're an Israelite, man. You mm -hmm. know, that's that's all we can tell you. You better hope you're an Israelite, man. There's nothing you can do for a concubine or these white people or, uh, 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 you know, your your brother, his his dad and white or your or your um, you know, however mm -hmm. it go, man. Mm -hmm. You you can't save an Edomite, man. Okay. You know, no matter how much you love him, man. You know, it's over with for anybody who not Israel in that day. Huh. Oh. Uh, let me find that scripture where the Lord say he gonna make a man more precious than fine gold. You know what huh. that's it. Huh. Let me get that too to add on to this what we talking about, man. Cause hey, in that day, man, the Lord is gonna glorify us. Isaiah 13 and 12. If you ain't close to it, I'd get it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Ophir. Uh, therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place. In the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh shall me out shout of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. Come on, that destruction, man. Come on. In that day, the man of the Lord is going to be more precious than fine gold. That's why the scriptures say um, seven women shall take hold of one man, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to be more precious than fine gold, man. Come on. You know. Why? Because that's what you're going to need to be delivered, man. Come on. You're going to need, hey, you're going to need um a man to be delivered in this time, man. Mm-hmm. You know. And we know the scriptures say, you know, that uh, the one-third shall have to go through the fire like gold is tried, man. Uh -huh. You know, that's the trying of your faith, man. Especially when that hour of temptation come, come to pass, man. Uh -huh. The hour of temptation is that mark of the beast, man. Uh -huh. You know, that, that microchip is going to come upon the whole world, man. It's already yeah. here, but they're yep. going to make it mandatory, man. Yep. You know? Come on, verse 10. No, 20, 20, 20, 20. Well, we can, we can just start at 10. Yeah, come on. This is Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Yeah. You know, and there's one into to slaves, man. 
Huh? Sons of strangers are gonna build up thy walls, man. Huh? So the kingdom of heaven is not gonna drop down some mystical place. Huh? All gold, see brightness just come. No, man, you're gonna see. It's gonna be slaves to build up the same way a miracle was built. That's how the kingdom of heaven is gonna be built, man. Huh? Through slavery, man. Huh? Through the backs of you heathens, man. That's right. You got it. When it, when the scriptures tell us, you know, when it says, uh. You saw Jerusalem coming down, the new Jerusalem coming down, man. That that's 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 the elect, man. Okay. Coming back with those new spiritual bodies, man, out of those chariots, man. Okay. You know? That's 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 not a literal because you gotta have people in order to have a kingdom, man. Okay. You know, the new Jerusalem, because the scriptures refer to the us Israelites as Jerusalem, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Jerusalem is a is a is a people before it's a it's place. It's a people before it's a place, man. It's just like Israel was a man before it was a land, man. Okay. You know? It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Okay. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or day nor night. Okay. That men may bring unto thee forces of the Gentiles. Okay. And you, 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 and that's after your, your, um, that's going to be after that part right there, going to be after your, your hardcore bondage, man. When you get your own lands back, our dates are going to be open continually, man, and we're going to receive these things from you, man. Okay. You know? But let me grab this one right here. Mm -hmm. um, Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And strangers shall be joined unto them. Mm -hmm. And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. And that's what people get confused. That oh, see the strangers going to be joined unto them. No. Those strangers are talking about Israelites who scattered amongst the heathen, man. Okay. You know, those are the strangers that's going to join into the Israelites and cleave unto them, man. Okay. Verse 2, and the people shall take them and bring them into their place. Mm -hmm. And and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for service and handmaids and we're not going to possess our own people man Come. so somebody got to go into captivity man somebody got to be a possession not the Israelites you know you heathens man uh, and and they shall take them captives who captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors man so that they, they, they'll go more to show man hey you heathens going into captivity, man. That's uh -huh. another plus for us in the kingdom. Forever bondage, man. That's right. You know, whenever we need a slave, we come into your lands, man, and we take him captive, man. Uh -huh. You got it. It says, and that their kings may be brought. Uh -huh. It says, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Uh -huh. Yeah. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. Con, and that's gonna be that's gonna be uh, you know hardcore abundance. You're gonna serve the Lord, but but you eventually gonna get to go back to your land, man. Con. You know, if you're not gonna serve the Lord in your land, you're gonna be utterly uh, punished and utterly destroyed. So like, Con. you got it. It says, it says the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree. The pine tree and the box together okay. to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make thee, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The Lord is gonna beautify the earth, man. You know, the Lord is gonna beautify the earth, man. Hey, He say He's gonna make all things new, man. Huh? You know. Mm. And and they go to show those gutter rats over there, man. They not the people of the Lord, cause why the, the land ain't beautiful. They important trees and stuff, man. Cool. We Still ain't sacrificing have to, animals. Cause we ain't gonna have to do none of that. The Lord is gonna make it to where everything's just gonna pop up, man. It's gonna be growing unless we just, you know, work the heat and the death just to do different, you know, put 
Oh, um, hardcore bondage on them and do make them do whatever we want them to do. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. But you, you keep going. It says, uh, "The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Mm -hmm. The sons also." Also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. Oh, hold up. What's the place of his feet, man? The Lord say heaven is his throne and the come earth on. is his footstool. He say he going to make the place of his feet glorious. Where you put your feet at? On the footstool, man. Come. You sitting on the throne, you put your feet on the footstool. The Lord is going to beautify this place, man. You know, the first creation of the of the stars and sun in the, you know, the first creation, man. The earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the center of the galaxy, man. You know, you got it up. Mm -hmm. It says, um, the sons also of them that afflicted thee, okay. they shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, okay. and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushah, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Okay. Whereas thou has been forsaken and hated, and we also know, man, that the scriptures tell us, man, gather yourselves together, man. Your nation does not desire, man. Right. Because they hate us, man. Y'all hate us, man. You other nations hate the Israelites, man. You know, and the Heavenly Father designed it like that, man. You know, it says, uh, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an, e an eternal excellency. Forever, man. Forever, man. Forever, ever, 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 ever. Hey, the Lord is going to beautify the, his people and this earth, and he's going to set us up, up, up over the whole universe, man. Come on. Hey, man, on earth as it is in heaven, man. You Come know, he's going to set it up on earth as it is in heaven, man. We're going to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the, of the heavens, man. You know where the Lord dwell, man. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be brought down to this this carnal place where people die, where animals live, man. Mm -hmm. Where you eat, man, and 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 have sex, man. This is gonna be brought here, man. Righteousness, man. Immortality, man. For the for the Israelites, man. Come Not on. for everybody, for us. Come on. You know. It says a joy of many generations, man. Come on. That's forever, man. Yep. It says thou shalt. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles. We're going to get all your resources, man. Come We're not going to be drinking your milk, man. We're going to take everything Come you have, man. We're going to, not everything. We're going to do like Esau to where you ain't got nothing. You you, you, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. But you're going to bring your, your riches to us, man. You know, you're going to enjoy being up on this, man. Because you're going to have your portion. We're going to have our portion. You got it. Up. Come on. It says, Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shall suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty, the mighty one of Jacob. And it says He is our Redeemer, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, and the Lord thy God shall lead thee into Egypt again with ship, man, and no man shall buy you. Huh. Meaning no man shall redeem us out of this situation but, that we were put in, man. Huh. But Yahweh Shah, man. Huh. Yahweh Shah is our Lord and King and Savior, man. Our huh. big brother, man. He died for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel only, man. Huh. It says the mighty one of Jacob, man. And who is Jacob? Jacob is Israel, man. Huh. Jacob had 12 sons whom the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, Seminole, and Native Indians descend from, man. Okay. It says, for brass, I will bring gold, okay. and for iron, I will bring silver. The Lord say for brass, he gonna bring gold, and for come iron, on. he gonna bring silver, man. Come, come. The Lord gonna, hey, we gonna be decked out of the kingdom, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, it's gonna be up, up, man. Come. You know? Come. He says, and for wood, brass, and for stones, iron. Upgrade. That's all. Yeah, that's, upgrades. That's, that's all. That's all upgrade. That's, that, 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 that was just that's all upgrade. upgrade. Come on. <laughs> you know, come on. Come on. from plastic to steel. <laughs> you know come what I'm saying? On. Just upgrade. Come on. <laughs> so that lets you know, man, it ain't going to be no woods. It ain't going to be no stone, man. 
Cause. For wood is gonna be brass. Cause. For stone is gonna be iron, man. I don't see nothing else after that, man. No it, wood, no stones. It's still going to exist, but hey. Right, right, We're not right. going to build our kingdom up with, with We're going to have precious and, metals, man. You know, something that's going to rot away. Come, come. The Lord is going to, hey, we, hey, the kingdom of heaven going to be way advanced than right now, man. Come. You know, we're not going to need 5G, man. Come. We're going to have stuff that's better, man. You come. Know, stuff that don't kill you, man. <laughs> you exactly. Know? But it's going to be way more advanced, man. That's right. You know? That's right. The Lord gave Esau this technology that he have, man, to mm -hmm. kill himself, kill kill the people he don't want in himself, man. Come. You know, and all of this stuff is going to be destroyed, man. Come. You know? Right along with Esau. Come. It's all of this stuff going to go, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, I will also make thy officers peace and thy ex exactors righteousness. Mm. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Mm. So that let you know right there, man, the people over there in Israel right now, man, they are not the people, man, mm. because it's violence like a mug going on right now, man. Mm. You know? Hey, and then the scriptures say, um, when the Israelites get back in the, in the um, power, that the la the nations will, will learn war no more, man. Mm. You know? Come, because after World War Three, it ain't going to be no more wars, man. Mm. This is the end all be all, man. Come. Of all the wars. The Lord say they gonna beat their spears into pruning hooks. Come. He say beat your plowshares into pruning hooks. Yeah. Now he gonna right. he and he reversed it after that. He gonna beat your swords into um mm -hmm. roughly paraphrased plowshares and mm -hmm. holes and shovels and Come. you know, instruments Come. to to work, man. Come. You know. That's Come. what's coming to you people, man. Mm -hmm. Work wait, wait. A lot of weight. No. So will. <laughs> Verse 18, violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. Hey, the scriptures say, oh, when the righteous man is in the thought of the earth rejoicing, when the wicked, roughly paraphrased, bear rule the earth more, man. Come. That's not going to be heard of in our kingdom. Y'all not going to be fighting each other, man. Come. Unless y'all have a damn stick fight. Mm -hmm. You know, a shovel for uh, uh, we put you, you know, because we're going to be able to do whatever we want with you devils, man. Mm -hmm. We put you in a damn arena and and, and give you a, a you know, <laughs> hey, gladiator your ass, gladiator man. Style. Same thing you did to us, man. Come you Are know? you not entertained? <laughs> Come on, hell no. <nah. laughs> Release the cracking. <laughs> he said, I want to see Come. some bloodshed, man. These Come. devils got to pay, man. Come. <laughs> you know? That's right. Yeah. Verse 18, it says, Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting no destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation, oh. and thy gates praise. Oh. The sun shall be no more thy light oh. by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushah, shall be unto thee an everlasting light. Hey, the scriptures say that Yahweh Shai is the bright morning star, man. That come. don't mean the sun ain't going to be in the kingdom or the moon ain't going to be in the kingdom. That's not what it's saying, man. Come. You know, because the scriptures say of Israel, um, as long as the sun and the moon exist, Israel, you know, roughly paraphrasing the stars, the stuff that's out of space exists. Mm -hmm. Israel exists, man. And mm -hmm. the Lord created all of this stuff to be forever, man. The sun, the moon, the earth, all mm -hmm. these different planets, man. He didn't create it for it to destroy, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Esau destroying the earth, but the Lord is not going to let Esau destroy the earth, man. He's going to destroy him before he can, man. You know? Uh -huh. <laughs> it says, uh, it says, Be unto thee in everlasting light, and thy power, thy glory. It says, Thy sun shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord Yahweh Yahushua shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. They're just, they're just saying, hey, the Israelites are going to rejoice in the kingdom, man. We're not going to suffer anymore, man. Come. You know? You Come. It says, thy people also shall be all righteous. Thy, they shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting the work of my hands that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one 
a strong nation. That go to show we're going to have multiple women and a whole bunch of kids. Man. Come, come, yeah. come. Because our little one going to become a strong nation, man, because he going to grow up and get him wives as well, man. Oh. You know, he going to pop them too, man, so oh. to say. Early. Early, man. You know, 12 years old, you know? he got his own palace, man. Exactly, man. You know. You know. Own family, man. Right. You know? It says, I the Lord, y'all brought him, y'all shot, will hasten it in his time. So that means he going to make it come to pass, man, and faster, man. Oh. You know. Um, oh, you can grab that one. I'm going to get a little bit. What's the Isaiah 14? One to two. All you want? Song. Yes, song. Come. This is the Book of Psalms. <laughs> it's like. Book of Psalms, chapter 2. Uh, verses 8 through 12. It says, As of me, I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a part of the vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, Serve the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshua with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Uh, hey, you know, because they just go more in the show, man. Hey, that the heathen is going to be our hand. We're going to put you in the captivity, man. Uh, We're going to beat your ass with a rod of iron. Uh, you know what that scripture said where it say the saints shall be glory and cry loud upon their beds. I don't even know what that scripture said. I used to always do it. Okay. Thought it was exactly a song. Hmm. I don't know exactly where it's at. My phone true. I'm about to go dead. Not a Wi Fi ain't so, on. I don't know where is it. But like the scriptures say, I wanted to get it. Since I'm thinking of it. Mm. I thought it was a song somewhere. I know it's somewhere in songs. The saints shall cry loud upon their bed. I don't know where. It's somewhere in there. That might have been. Are you looking for that? I'm going to get Revelation uh, chapter 2. Okay. This is the book of Revelations chapter 2, uh, verse 25 through 27. It says, But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And that's this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken into shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Uh, you know, hey, the morning star. Who is the morning star? You have a shot, man. Uh. They say that the Lord, um, the sun wasn't gonna go down no more on on, on Israel, man. Come, you know. Come, you know? but you go. Know, I guess we can go to Revelation because I don't know where is it. You know, Come. A rough paraphrase in the scripture. They say the saints shall be glorious and cry loud upon their beds because we don't have to get up and work for these devils and stuff no more. I knew it. I used to know exactly what the script said, but I, I can't think of it for, to save my life. Okay. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, uh, 1 through 27. It says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven have, for the first heaven and the first earth 
were passed away, and there was no more sea. Oh. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, yeah. coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, man, you know that's that's the, that's 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 the heavenly Father's people, man. Mm -hmm. The New Jerusalem, man, coming down with those inside of those spiritual bodies, man, because mm -hmm. you know you can't be changed. You can't get on those chariots without being changed, man. Okay. So that's what's gonna make us new, man. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, we are that number. It says, and I just saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, okay. and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall dwell, shall be with them and be their God. So right there it said, it said the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, man. Okay. So who are these women, man? You know, thinking they ought to be put on the pedestal, man. And the brothers just read, man, that the Lord is going to make a man more more precious than fine gold, man. Even the wedge of Ophir, man, just roughly paraphrasing. It says, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them, and be their God. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. All this self explanatory, man, that don't take breaking down, man. Come. You know. Come. That first part, you might not understand it, but that part right there, man, they telling you straight up what's finna come, man. Esau know this shit, man. Come. You know? Come. Esau know what's coming, man. He That's why he wants you in sin so bad. That's why so much wickedness has. Is is being pushed, man, on mm -hmm. a high on a high level, man. Come, cause Esau wants you in, in pure wickedness, man. Come, you know. You it, it says, and he that sat upon the throne said, "Behold, I make all things new." Come. And he said unto me, "Write, for these words are true and faithful." And that new is saying he gonna he ain't gonna make nothing new. He gonna renew it, man. Make it, make it. You know, he gonna refresh it, man. Come. You know? It says, and he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, okay. the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountains of the water of life freely. Okay. Yeah, the Israelite. Come. Okay. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his his power, and he shall be my son. The Lord said we're going to inherit all things in Psalm 2. You know, that was Yahweh and Yahweh's a conversation between Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. Come. You know, he say, ask of me and I'll give ye the heathen for thine inheritance, man, in the uttermost parts. Come. You know, of the earth, man. You mm -hmm. know. And that right there say, he that overcometh shall inherit all things. He who? The the, the 144,000 elect men, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to inherit all things, man. Everlasting Come. life, man. All those things we just went through, that's what we got to fight for, man. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to die for, man. Come. You know. You it says, it. but the fearful and unbelieving and yeah. the abominable. Yeah, you scare niggas, man. Mm -hmm. You scare people, man. You scared to go up against this devil, man. Come. You know. Come. We the ones not scared. The Lord said he didn't give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, man. And we push it, man. Come. You know. We don't care what's finna come down the pipe hole because we already know, man. The Lord put it in our spirit to know what's going on, man. Mm -hmm. Lord willing, we can endure because we, we don't know exactly what's going to happen because it's going to be worse than what we can think of, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But, hey, we going to be we a step ahead of anybody else, man, because we out doing it, man. We out pushing the word, man. Come. You know? Come. We, we being diligent to make our call and election sure, man. Come. You got it. it said, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. And all you people, speaking of idolatry, all you people who getting up to celebrate fucking Thanksgiving tomorrow, uh -huh. man, that's idolatry, man. Mm-hmm. 
you know, that's going into idolatry, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. It says, which is the second death? And there came unto me one of the seven angels who had the seven vials full of the seven pl last plagues and talked with me saying, come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descended out of heaven from the most high. And and the scriptures say we are the wife of the Lord, man. He adorned us as his wife, man. Come. He come. compared Israel to a comely and delicate woman, man. Come. You know. He said, Turn back unto me, O backsliding daughter of uh just roughly paraphrasing. Come. Turn to me, O backsliding children of Israel, man. Come. For I am married unto thee, man. Come. The most high is married unto us, man. That's what that covenant was for, man. Come. You know, covenant of marriage, man. Okay. It says having the glory of the most high and her light was like unto a stone most precious even like a jasper stone okay. clear as crystal okay. and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates okay. and at the 12 gates so like and at the 12 gates y'all 12 angels okay. and names written thereon okay. which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel man okay. Reuben Levi Benjamin Naphtali Simeon okay. Reuben you know you know, and on those twelve it's a gates, car. Come, on those twelve gates, I saw it gonna be the twelve disciples, man. Come. Twelve apostles who became apostles, man. Come, you know. Come, it say at the twelve gates, twelve angels, man. Hey, the Lord might have our name up under there in small Come. letters, you know. But that, the apostles and you know they names gonna be big, man. Mm -hmm. He might have our name look, you know. Mm -hmm. Have us a little razzle down, so he gonna have something for us, man. Come, you know? come. It says on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, okay. and on the west three gates. Surrounded by gates. Man. Come. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations. And in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Okay. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, okay. and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square and the length is as large as the breadth and he measured the city with the reed twelve thousand furlongs the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal and he measured the wall thereof and hundred and forty and four cubits huh. that's a spiritual number man because 144 is the 144 thousand man <laughs> You know, it says, uh, according to the measure of a man that is of the angel and the building of the wall of it was jasper and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. Man, everything, the Lord, hey, that's what our city going to be made out of. No, no one time it's going to be wood, you know, going to get some oak tree cut Come. down. No. Pure gold, jasper, precious stones, man. Come. Jewels, man. 